Okay, guys, I don't know what happened, but I was filming. I was there. I made a video for 20 minutes, and it looks like everybody, I saw everybody in the chat, but nobody saw me. So we're going to do this again. This video is about something that we don't talk about enough in the manifesting community, but especially in uh, how to manifest a specific person community, right? So this is about the connection between manifesting your specific person or manifesting in general and being yourself. And I know that it's really, really, really cliche. Oh, just be yourself. Just, yeah, love yourself and be yourself. Um, nobody knows how to do that, but that doesn't make it any less important. And I had an experience where, I mean, I've basically been trying to find myself my entire life and be like the perfect version of myself. And I had an experience of coming full circle with that. And I discovered something that I never knew before about unconditional love, about mastery. It was amazing. I'm going to share this with you guys because this is so, this is going to help you so much when it comes to manifesting your specific person and maybe even answering some questions about how to be yourself, right? Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that we don't emphasize enough. We don't talk about it enough. We don't teach it enough. And I think it's because it's really hard to teach, you know? And I think that a lot of people, when it comes to, you know, um, being yourself, it becomes like this self concept exercise. And that's okay in everything. Like maybe that helps. And, and I think it does help. And I think it's great. But we really want that real life experience of just being yourself. And I'm going to tell you what that was for me and what I found and how that helped me and what it has to do with manifesting your specific person. So first of all, we all know that self-love is really, really important when it comes to manifesting your specific person. But again, it's like another cliche, right? Oh yeah, follow your joy. Yeah. Love yourself. Be yourself. Oh, who cares? Um, but when you've been manifesting for a really, really long time, you find that all these things that were so cliche from the very beginning that you heard from the very beginning, those things end up being actually the things that you end up really focusing on with greater awareness and presence and implementing with greater awareness and presence, you know, and focus. You find that these were the things all along that were the most important and most life-changing pieces you know, when it comes to manifesting, what I see repeatedly over and over and over isn't that we need more information. It's that we need more application. So a lot of people are like hearing and it's, and it's, they're not processing it in a way that allows them to actually implement it, to actually apply it, to actually do it in order to get the results. So a lot of people, they want to just they're trying, they're in trying mode. They're in question mode. So yeah, gimme, 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 gimme answers. Gimme, 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 gimme books. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let me learn more. It's like, you don't need to learn more. You just need to apply what you already know. But you know, what we do is we keep learning more and reinforcing. And then somewhere along the way, we're going to learn how to apply. And this is one of those things where you've already heard it, but we need to figure out, you know, what this looks like to apply it. Because here's the thing. You need, you need to be aligned with yourself. Otherwise, it's not going to be normal and natural for you to align with the relationship that you want, with the person that you want. And you don't just want to manifest a specific person, right? You want to manifest that person in the way that you want because you've already manifested that person. They're there. Like you, you already manifested them. You want to manifest them in the way that you want them to be. So here's the thing. If you live your life from a place that you are not aligned with you, you are not being yourself, then automatically you're starting off from a vibration, like a vibrational baseline that is misaligned where you're going to experience incongruent thoughts and desires, right? Like, you're going to have negative ideas about yourself. You're going to have insecurities about yourself. You're going to have conflicting ideas about yourself. Everything that you think and feel about yourself is going to be projected onto them. So for instance, if you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I wish I was more of this. I wish I was more of that. I wish I was more of that. 
when you meet your specific person or when you deal with them in the back of your mind, you're going to be projecting onto them that they see those things that you see about yourself that you don't like. That's going to be your fear that's going to play out over and over and over. Does it need to play out? Does it have to play out? Is it based on anything objective or real? No, it's based on your own incongruence with yourself, your own misalignment with yourself, because you cannot project anything besides what you are thinking to begin with. What's my astrology placements? Who the hell cares? It doesn't matter because guess what? I found out about everything that it doesn't actually matter because you manifest your reality. Okay, so here's what happened to me where how I came like full circle with finding myself and actually being myself. See, being yourself is really a state of being. It's a state of being that you allow. But here's what we all start out. And here's how I started out is I've been trying to become the perfect version of myself forever. I have had, and I think that we all have this idea of what it means to be the perfect version of ourselves. The perfect version of ourselves feels like this, does this, does that. Shoot, I have to hook up my Mac to the electric. Okay, there. <laughs> so we all have this idea of what it means to be perfect the perfect version of ourselves. So I was chasing that forever. And I'm a really open-minded person. So I've tried a lot of different things, right? Um, I've learned a lot of different things. I've, I've tried a lot of different ways of being and ideas. And I've tried things to see what is the best version of me. And then I, I had this idea of like, oh, well, I want to be more loving. I want to be more like this. I want to be more like that. I want to be more flawless. I want to be more perfect. That was my idea of perfect. I just had this like generic idea of perfection, that perfection looks like this. And if I could be that, then I would be perfect. And that's the, the person that I want to be. And here's the thing is that I actually became the version of myself that I thought that I wanted to be. I actually embodied that and I became that. And when I did, I realized that that wasn't me. And then my idea of what perfection means all came full circle because I fully understood what unconditional love and mastery really, really means. Unconditional means that whatever you are, that's what you love. Whatever comes up, that's what you love. Whatever you be, whatever is, that's what you love. Not if I could be, if I could just be like that. I love that and that's what I want to be. No. You don't chase a version of you. You can change and become and, and do what you want to do. You know, like you will find more of you via a variable experience, right? When you allow yourself to have variable experiences, the contrast will show you more of who you are. And then as you move along, but you have to be authentic with yourself, right? We have all sorts of reasons for doing the things that we do. Ultimately, you're going to find out what's authentic for you and what's not. But when you find out what is authentic to you, you have to honor that. And, and what we end up doing is we end up trying, you know, following something that we think is authentic for us. And then we find out later that it's not, but we don't take it off. And that's why this video is called Why I Took It All Off, because I actually did come full circle and I saw like now that I've become the version of me that I think that I want to be, and I realized that's not what I want to be, I took it all off. And I just became who I am. I allowed that to happen. I fought for it. I had balls. I had to fight for that. And you should fight for that too, because you will not be happy unless if you are who you be. Unless if you love yourself for whoever it is and whatever it is that you are. What if you are already the perfect version of yourself. And the only reason why you don't experience that is because you're being conditional and you can't see that. That's what I found, that I was already the perfect version of myself all the time. I didn't need to change. I didn't have to be different. 
And then I realized that the only reason why I didn't like myself the way that I was and I didn't see my perfection is just because I was judging that perfection was different than what I was. But when you come full circle and you, you see that you became everything that you thought that you wanted to be and it's not what you really want to be and it's not you, you have this one-of-a-kind decision to make, this one-of-a-kind ability to, oh, honor yourself. Now, here's the value of honoring yourself and being who you be. That when I allow myself to simply be who I am and love myself for that, and celebrity, there's a lot of celebrities who do this really well and it's very entertaining. They just, whatever comes up, they just own it. It's the funniest thing and it makes them way more endearing, so much more entertaining, so much more fun. It's like, it's just so magnetic that they could like talk about pissing on uh, Madonna at a party and everybody laughs and we think it's funny and it's great. And they walk away and it's like, we just love their confidence because they just are who they are. We just love that about them. That's unconditional love. So if you're trying to manifest your specific person, you want to manifest your specific person or whatever, and you start just being who you be and loving that and seeing the perfection in that and seeing, feeling at one with yourself because you're finally figured out the value of unconditionality and what it actually really means, you're no longer going to be struggling with these Judge, judging yourself, feeling insecure, feeling unsettled, feeling anxiety, feeling judged, and then projecting that on your specific person and insisting that they're seeing it too. Because that's what we're all doing when we're operating from a place of not being ourselves and not finding ourselves and not honoring ourselves. So how could you not be at one with yourself and also manifest the perfect version of your specific person that you want to manifest. You can't. Because if there's an insecurity within you, you can only see through your own eyes and you can only project from your own thoughts. And if it's there, it will be projected. So this is actually a really, really important part of manifesting your specific person. And all the focus is on them. Oh, I want to get them back. I want to make them behave. I want to make them whatever. But we're not in the, in the process. You're neglecting the person who manifests them. You're neglecting the person who creates that. And that's backwards. So I think that we acknowledge this to a point because there's some emphasis on self-concept and we have connected the dots in a way and figured out that, oh, this helps. Self-concept helps a lot. Yay. Okay. But I want to teach it in a more full circle way and the way that I experienced it. And I'm going to add a lot to this idea of self-concept. I mean, we're going to do all the same things that we did before, right? All your favorite parts, all of the meditations and the, the, the goddess stuff and the, that girl. And, you know, knowing that I'm a sexy goddess and I'm a super queen, I'm a super manifesting baddie. Okay. But there's other ways that we can find ourselves and be ourselves and implement this so that it's real and not just so that it's like a meditation that you have to rely on, right? You need to know for yourself so that you can also direct yourself and get back there by yourself. You just know what it feels like to find what's really you. And you can figure that out as you go through life and discover more and more and more of what is truly you. You can pat yourself on the back for your ability to not only follow that and become that, but also to defend that even when it's difficult. And when you are at one with you, you will be able to be at one with your specific person. Doesn't that feel so perfect? Isn't that so perfect? Is anybody else seeing this? Okay, so here's my plan. I, I have an actual plan for this. I'm super inspired. So I have three courses that are coming up in my coaching group, which is like super cheap, right? It's like super cheap. You get a whole bunch of courses the minute that you join and you get the support, you get the reinforcement, you get the content. I go live every single weekend, 12 p.m. EST. So this weekend I'm starting with a new course, new. This is going to be like seminar one, manifest him with excitement. 
And this is a method that I discovered on my own that really changed the game and it works and it just, it created so much motivation in my life. It created so much inspiration. It just completely changed the manifesting game. It put so many things into place in my life that I had been wanting so much. I was so organized. I want to teach this manifesting from excitement. I'm so excited to do it because, you know, a lot of us manifest from this place of like trudging through and trying and hoping that we're getting it right. And this just is completely the opposite changes the game. It's like completely turns everything on its head. So I want to teach you guys this method of how to manifest right from this, what energy to manifest from. That's going to be the first course. The second course is going to be a that girl course. So everybody asks me about courses on self-concept and how to become the best version of themselves and how to be a better version of themselves. And so everybody wants to be the this that girl, right? And like I said, it's not about becoming something that is out there that is not you. But you know, there's two parts to this, right? There's taking off what is not you. And there's also putting on what is you, right? And then by doing those things, you figure out what is really you. So we're going to take this version of that girl that you want to be for yourself, that you see for yourself. We're going to go with it. We're going to run with it. And I have really, really good ideas for this, of what we're going to do for this that girl course. Um, it's going to be super fun. So anyways, first you're going to learn my method that I want you to manifest from. Then you're going to learn how to be that girl for you in your own life. And this is all for the purpose of getting to course number three, which is going to be how to be a manifesting baddie. Because if I start with manifesting baddie, I just wanted to do manifesting baddie at first. Okay. Which that's going to be like my new hashtag manifesting baddie. But I realized that I can't just start with that because you guys have to be in a vibrational place where you can apply what I'm going to say about how to be a manifesting baddie right? Because manifesting is not really about, or learning how to manifest is not really about information anymore. It's about being able to apply the information that you already know. We already know how to manifest. We just don't know how to do it. We don't know how to implement it. We don't know how to apply it. So that's the part that we all need help with. This three course program that I'm going to do in the coaching group, which again is like so cheap for all of this stuff that you guys are getting. Um, it's going to set you up for success. That's the whole point of it. So if I tell you what to do, like I could tell you, okay, believe it into being, just know it into being, just like be confident. Yeah, that's not going to help you. I'm going to take you through the process and show you exactly how step by step. And it's, it's going to be this journey that from beginning to end, it's just going to be one of those things where you just come out the other side and you're like, oh, look, here, look, ah, you know, that's how it is sometimes. That's how manifesting is. So, anyways, I'm really excited about this. And let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. How does one find their true path unconditionally? That's what this is all about. Okay, so look, I, I have a new number that I want you guys to text. So, I think the first time that I posted it, I think I posted the wrong number. I'm so sorry. And then, like, my text message replies were not working, but it's working now. The new number is this. 702-673-6604. Text me. I will text you, okay? And remember, I'm going live this weekend. If you, if you like my live videos, make sure that you're subscribed. Press the bell button. Click all to receive all those notifications. I am going live with unlisted videos periodically as much as I can. I just got a new puppy. I can't go every day anymore. But I do try to go live as much as I can. But I go live in my coaching group every single Sunday, at 12 p.m. EST with a new course for you guys. And the courses are completely different from YouTube. It's just, I just can't even, it's, it's different, okay? So again, thank you for being here. Like the video, comment below. Let me know what you think about all this. Let me know if you have any questions. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.